Animal cares present. What makes squirrels squirrely? Have you ever merged with a squirrel? Well, I did, and it was a once in a lifetime experience. I was immediately dizzy. It felt like my head was spinning. I had to pull back from the merge. I had to sit down in a chair. After grounding myself and regaining my balance, I asked the squirrel what it had felt. The squirrel said it was fine, just a little confused because I was so much slower than it was. And that was the key. We think that animals live at the same speed we do. We know that many have shorter lifetimes than humans. And others have longer lifetimes. Maybe animals experience their lifetimes as just as long or just as short as our lives feel to us. Perhaps squirrels and other animals live at a faster vibrational frequency than most humans, or at least than I do. Did you know that the speed at which something is shown to you can register in your mind without you seeing it with your eyes? If it's shown. In this way, you can be programmed subliminal images and words reach directly into your subconscious mind. This is called subliminal messaging, and it's used in advertising every day. The thing about subliminal messages is that your conscious mind doesn't know the messages are there. This allows you to be influenced by messages that you don't even know your brain is receiving. Commercials in movie theaters, on television and even on the internet, your cell phone, and any visual or auditory message can contain subliminal messages. While there is some debate in the scientific community about how much this influences a human, I suspect no one really wants us to know the truth about this. Physicists tell us that everything is in wave form until consciousness perceives it. At that instant, the wave becomes a particle and appears to have form. So what you perceive isn't there, that is, until you look at it. Which means that the universe and all that we perceive is really flashing in and out of our perceptual range all the time. Maybe squirrels see the universe differently because they are seeing things we can't see. After all, dogs and elephants hear sounds we can't hear, right? Cats and dogs smell things we can't smell. Are you feeling squirrely yet? If you're practicing your animal communication by merging with animals, you might bring this up for discussion. How does the animal with whom you're merging experience your rate of vibration compared to their own? Please check the video description to know more about animal communication. Thanks for your time to watch this video. Kindly click the subscribe button and the bell ring to notify you for my next video. Have a nice day.